I've been following Valorant for a couple days now, and uh, my original plan of going into it was not really my type of game. Um, considering I don't really have a CS background, I think the last CS I, w I had played, um, or my only experience with CS was 1.5. Uh, but just after watching a lot of the gameplay footage, kind of seeing the direction the game has gone, and just knowing that CSGO and games like CSGO and Overwatch were really popular, uh, it has kind of piqued my interest a little bit. And I think there are a lot of the reasons why is because it's also a very unknown territory in FPS gaming for me. And it's something new that I am always willing to challenge myself and pick up to learn. Uh, I think it's something that I am interested in. Um, and just based off of the footage of watching it um, with characters and their abilities, uh, I like what I'm seeing. I think the whole attention to um, competitive uh, gameplay, uh, the company's uh, Riot's attention to um, detail in regards to um, server latency and lag and um, cracking down on uh, hackers, uh, I think it's going to be a huge thing for this game, and knowing how the longevity of CSGO has been, or the big fan base of Overwatch, and the bridge of those two communities, um, I can see a game like this going on for a very long time. And I'm, pro I'm, I'm approaching this game from a Quake background, because during that time that CS was really popular, um, I was really into games like Quake and Unreal Tournament. I just kind of migrated towards those type of games. So I went from like Quake to Unreal Tournament, to uh, Team Fortress. Um, I think the, the original Team Fortress was on, on Quake, um, and then Battlefield 1942, and the original Call of Duty. And so I kind of missed the whole train of Counter-Strike. Um, I never really played, I think I played a little bit of CSGO um, when it first came out for Source, and that's pretty much it. I have absolutely no Counter-Strike background. And considering that this game follows that exact follows that same play style, it's gonna be something new for me, something very challenging, knowing that there's gonna be players that have thousands of hours uh, into the, this game. Um, and so I'm I'm willing to learn, I'm willing to re kind of like calibrate my play style and adjust it and mold it to this new genre. Um, I think the abilities give it a new spin and that's something interesting. I did play a little bit of Overwatch. Genji was my main when that game first came out. Uh, but I never really sunk time into it. Uh, Valorant looks interesting, and that's one of the things I was trying to I was trying to figure out is my play style, like what kind of play style I was going to be going for, what kind of characters what I would probably be maining, just based off of the footage that I've been watching. Um, I'm typically an aggressive player. When I when it comes to classes that I usually like to select, it's usually range DPS. That's like, like my thing. So think of like an MMO or an RPG, I would usually go for the glass cannon, like the wizards, da damage at range. That was my whole flow in Bad Company 2 was using the SV-98, which would pop off at a range. Just based off of the footage that I've seen with certain characters, um, Phoenix is a character that I was looking into. Um, just based off of his abilities, he has uh, an, his signature move is called Hot Hands. He throws a fireball that covers a small area in flames after a short wait. And when it hits the ground, these flames damage your enemies, but heal you. So that's pretty cool because it has the offense aspect where you're hurting enemies, but then also there's a defense aspect where if you can stand on it, you're going to be healing yourself. Um, so that's cool. Then his, uh, one of his other abilities is Blaze. He summons a firewall or a wall of fire that blocks vision and then hurts anyone passing through. Um, the wall can also be bent when casting. Um, that's kind of like a new spin on this game. Is you can mold your abilities according to your surrounding, which is neat. Um, then his third ability is Curveball. Um, he can throw a flashbang that curves around corners. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then his ultimate he run it, uh, is called Run It Back. Marks your current location and starts a short timer. When the timer expires or if you die, you respawn at that marked location with full health. And that kind of reminds me of the Revenant's ult from Apex Legends. Um, the second character that I'm also interested in too, and I think this would probably be my main, is Jet. And her signature move is a Cloudburst. Throws a smoke grenade that obscures vision wherever it lands. So basically a smoke bomb. And her other ability is Updraft, which launches herself upwards after a brief pause. Then she has Tailwind, which she dashes a short distance for whatever direction you're moving. So it gives her like a quick directional move. Um, and then she her ultimate is Blade Storm, which she wields several throwing knives that can do deal moderate damage. 
and um, and his kill on headshot, which is pretty cool. And she can throw all the daggers at once, kind of like a shotgun blast. So Leia, I can see her being a really popular character for a lot of people, especially for solo queues, people who play solo. Um, she would probably be a more ideal character to go for. Um, the other characters look pretty cool. Viper looks like a really good team player. There's obviously Sage, who will probably be vital for team plays, considering that she can revive. Omen looks really cool. I like the fact that his ultimate, can he can teleport anywhere on the map, so you can really do some huge surprise plays with him. Breach also looks like a really cool character as well. Overall, considering the game is just in beta, it looks exceptionally well done. The tick rate on the servers look really good, so you aren't getting killed behind cover unless you're legitimately being shot through walls, and I think that's something that this game has adopted really well from CSGO. Um, the game definitely does look like a lot of CSGO, but you have that those abilities from Overwatch integrated into it as well. There's a nice fine balance between those two games, so you don't have the overbearingness of abilities that Overwatch has, where there's just a lot going on um, in such a short amount of time, and it's really hard to follow from an outside perspective. And then you couple that with CSGO's high skill cap and gunplay, being able to pull off great plays that are easy to follow from someone who doesn't understand the game mechanics. And so balancing those two is a really smart idea with Riot Games. And so knowing that this game is gonna go into a very heavy competitive scene and that it's backed up by a company that will uh, continue the longevity of the community, you're gonna see a really, really polished game that will continuously be fine-tuned and updated and supported by a huge brand, a huge community, and will last for a very long time. So this is something that I'm really interested in too, and I know I'm going into this with very little Counter-Strike and Overwatch experience. Um, I'm always willing to adapt and learn something new. But um, So it's December too late, and I see this as a new beginning for me to really pick up something new, fresh, and challenging, and uh, just to continue to grow in a game that will probably be around for a very long time. So I'm excited and I'm looking forward to the beta. I'm hoping I can get in the closed beta. The closed beta starts on the 7th. We'll see where the future of Valorant will be in my gaming channel. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care.